done and so I went to Boots and stuff happened. In fact, I always go to Boots but sometimes it's just like little bits and bobs but this was quite a substantial amount so I thought I would cobble it together into a little haul and show you guys today and I'm just going to go through everything willy nilly. This is my bag and also something very very exciting has just arrived, something that I didn't buy off of Boots but I've been waiting for this for possibly months, I think it has been months but I'm going to be a bit of a tease and show you that at the end so I'm going to get in to my Boots bag and firstly a very exciting purchase. I must add that there's a mix of purchases in here, there's some boring purchases, there's some repurchases and also some new things that I found in Boots. So it's a bit of a mix of everything but probably the least exciting purchase but also one that I just can't do without cotton buds and I really like the Boots ones for some reason. The normal cotton buds are cool but really I love the cosmetic buds. These are incredible to keep in your dressing table because they're amazing for just tidying up eyeliner and smudging out eyeshadow, all of that kind of jazz. Jars. <laughs> Another not very interesting purchase, I know I'm really selling this haul here, but one that I was very excited to get my hands on from Venus, the Gillette Venus Snap Razor. How adorable is this? It's like a mini travel size razor that fits into this tiny little like plastic pouch thing which makes it really easy to travel with. Thought I would put this into my little travel toiletry kit that I just keep, all, I just always keep stuff there and then whenever I go away I just roll it up and it just comes with me but it's got a full size razor in it and I thought it'd be quite handy to have the travel size in there and another not so interesting purchase I thought I'd just get these out of the way first this from original source it is their skin quench all-in-one moisturizing shower pineapple and coconut oil this stuff is incredible it's one of the few things from this haul that I have actually used the other day I've just been really naughty when it comes to shower gel and just nicking marks I think he uses like a dove men one I'm like yeah that'll do I'm not really too fussed when it comes to shower gel but I think this was on offer for a pound I really like the original source normal ones but this is one of those all-in-one two-in-one moisturizer slash shower gels and I've used the Nivea one before didn't like it felt it left my skin really greasy and I kind of with a film on I could feel it but this just left my skin feeling really soft and it smells incredible kind of like Lilt and I love Lilt. A repurchase was this from the Super Facialist by Una Brennan Range, the Vitamin C Brighten Skin Renew Cleansing Oil. Really like this stuff. I've gone through a whole one of it. Of course, it doesn't beat my Oski Renaissance Cleansing Gel. I love that one, but I find that that's not very good to travel with. Number one, because the bottle is just huge, and number two, I don't really like to put it into like a mini little tub and then like stick my finger in it. I end up basically using it all within two days. I'm not very good at <laughs> rationing it out. So I put this into like a little squeezy tube and it's really good. You don't need too much of it. And when I fill up the whole tube, it's only about that big. It lasts probably about two weeks. So this is my travel cleanser of choice and I needed to repurchase that. One thing that I was so excited to finally find was this from Soap and Glory. It is their archery brow pencil in the shade Hot Chocolate, which they never ever ever have. They always have the blonde one, is it called like Bombshell, Blonde Shell or something like that. They always have that one in stock. They have never had the brown version of it in stock and this time they had it. But it was a bit open, the tube was a bit open and I thought, oh, shall I risk it for a biscuit? But I took it out and had a look and I don't think that it's been used. I've yet to use it, but people say that it's a really good drugstore dupe for Anastasia Brow Wiz. So, I am all for that. I will let you know how I get on with it, but honestly, I was so <laughs> happy to see it there. I think I've been looking for like the last year, possibly, in the space where they should be. It's always empty, but yeah, just this one. It's obviously a very popular product. Then I picked up two bits from Max Factor. I think there was like a two for ten pound or some kind of deal going on, and they had a little standout with all of their new stuff. That's a good tip in boots. All of their new stuff tends to be at stands on the end of the aisles, well, at least in my my local boots it does and the reason I always pick boots over super drug is because super drug put little sticky security labels over everything that are just such a pain to get off so I tend to go in boots plus I love the advantage card point system but side note got, got a bit sidetracked there I picked up this from Max Factor this is their excess intensity long wear eyeliner in the shade excessive brown tried this on the back of my hand it's like a little retractable like gel style eyeliner feels quite gel like inconsistency but then it dries and it does not 
budge. The next day it was still on my hand. So I have high hopes for this and I do like a good brown eyeliner. They're just good for either the waterline or adding a bit of definition to the upper lash line like I've done today. And then I picked up this. This is one of their cream puff blushes. And I went for the shade Nude Mauve. There was a really nice pinky, iridescent, corally shade there, which I thought I would go for that one. But this shade looked a really interesting one, like one of those tawny, not really too in your face blushes, like the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in. Expose? Expose? Oh, can't remember. I'll put it here on the screen. But just when you're wearing like a red lip and you just want something really natural on the cheeks, I was like, this could be a good option. And they're kind of a bit highlighty, a bit shimmery. But it's just a really nice like pinky mauve. Very similar setup to the Hourglass ambient lighting blushes, I thought, in the way that they're kind of marbled and a little bit shimmery. I will report back, but I'm very excited to use this, and I probably will end up picking up more colours of it, because I just think they're very pretty to look at. Something else that I spotted at the end of an aisle was this from L'Oreal, and it is their infallible Stay Fresh Foundation 24 Hours. And I think they've got this in, like, a tube for more oily skins, and then this is the bottle for more dry skin. Had the option of both, and normally, back in the day, I would have definitely gone for the matte version the one for oily skin but now my skin's getting a little bit drier so when I see things that are formulated specifically for dry skin I'm like hell yeah gonna get you I've been testing this one out and I will report back tomorrow because I'm gonna pop up a blog post of my top drugstore foundation finds so you will have to check out that blog post to see if this makes the cut but so far so good I picked this up in the shade 120 vanilla and I really like the shade match and I really like the foundation. Oh, spoiler. Now this isn't new, but I looked at it and was like, why have you not picked that up before? This is so up your street. It's from Maybelline and it is one of their color tattoo, like 24 hour eye paint shadow things. And this is in the shade metallic pomegranate. I really like the, is it bad? Bad girl bronze, bad boy bronze, the bronzy one. Really, really like that. And I thought, you know what? I love the look of this colour. Kind of similar to what I've got on my eyes today in the way that it's like a bronzy, reddy, coppery. And it's got a touch of gold shimmer going through it. I have stuck my finger in the middle and put it on the back of my hand because I just couldn't help myself. But I really like this. I can see myself getting a lot of use out of that. And I might see if I can use it in a tutorial sometime soon. Because the formula of these is so good. It's one of the best cream eyeshadows in the drugstore, I reckon. Then finally, I went a bit crazy at the nail aisle. So I'm getting out everything now and it's all just falling on, on the floor. Firstly, I picked up a colour that I've wanted for about four years. Don't know why it's taken me so long. The Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure in the shade Commander in Chic. Bloggers went crazy for this probably about three or four years ago and then it launched into Boots and I've just been mentally noting to buy it ever since and I was like, you know what? I don't need this. It's very similar to Nails Inc. Poor Chester Square and a lot of other nail colours that I own but I kind of wanted to give this a go. I wanted to see what all the fuss was about even if it is three years too late. Given that my hands are currently naked in the nail polish department, I think this is going to happen in approximately 10 minutes time. And the other thing I picked up was from Essie, and this is their Good As Gone Clarifying Nail Polish Remover. I haven't seen this before. They had a new nail polish remover, this that I bought, and then they had a hand lotion and a hand scrub, and it just kind of added to the little display they had there. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to give that a go. I'm always into trying new nail polish removers. It's not a very exciting category of product, but for some reason, I'm always up for trying a new one. And it said clarifying, and to me that always is like, yes, squeaky clean nails, which secretly I do quite love, even though I know it's probably not the best for my nail, but you know what I mean? And the one that I'm currently using is definitely giving up, so I think it is time to move on to this. I've currently got one of the bourgeois, you know, stick your finger in, not going to do the action pops, and it's definitely had its day. And then, the other thing, nail polish. I know, so many nail polish finds. I was in a real nail polish mood when I was there. I saw the Wa. Is it Wa London or just Wa? Wa London counter. I haven't seen this in Boots before. Now they're a really cool brand that started as a nail parlour doing really funky nail art designs and then they've kind of branched out and there's some, I think there's a branch in the Top Shop on Oxford Street and now they do their own nail colours. I was like yes, very interested to try these. They've got a lot of nail art pens in basically every colour of the rainbow which I don't really think has been on the high street so far so that's very cool if you're into that kind of thing. But I was interested in the colours and I picked up another 
beigey, taupey, I have a million one of these shades, but I always need another one. This is the shade Expensive Taste. Yeah, like the name of that one. It's kind of a bit more, I don't know if you can see, it's a bit more kind of sandy, beigey, whereas the Sally Hansen is a bit more lilac-y, but I thought that would be a good one to try. And then there was something about this shade, the Blue Room, that I really liked. It kind of reminded me of a pardback version of Nails Inc. Oh, what's it called? Is it called Baker Street or something? The blue one. Really like that Nails Inc. colour, and this looks like, maybe this will be the 2015 version of it. Definitely going to give this a go. In fact, I think I might try this one after this video instead of Commander in Chic. Then I picked up their top coat. It's just called Classy Glassy Glossy Top Coat. Oh, I love that name. And I thought, you know what? These girls are into nail art. And for nail art, you want things to dry super quickly because you don't want to mess up your nail art. So I thought, if anyone's going to do a good top coat, then surely the Wild London girls are going to do a good top coat. Something to rival Sesh V. Who knows? I will get back to you on that one. And the final thing I purchased from them is the cleanup brush, which I'm pretty sure is basically just it's an eyeliner brush. It's like a slanted <laughs> eyeshadow eyeliner brush. But I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give this a go. Whenever I get my nails done professionally, which has basically happened about three or four times in my entire life, they have one of these cool little brushes that they load up with nail polish remover and then they go around and really clean up the edges and make the nail beds just look super, super fancy. So I thought, I'm gonna give that a go. Next time I've got a bit of time and I'm giving myself a proper manicure and really taking time with it instead of just slapping on a coat and running out the door, I'm gonna see if I can tidy up my cuticle beds and make them look salon worthy with this brush. So that is everything from Boots and as I mentioned there's a little extra at the end that has literally just arrived about 10 minutes before I started to film this video. Perfect timing. The Anastasia Contour Kit. Yes, it happened. Look at it. Oh my god. And then, oh yeah. Oh. So there's kind of two highlighty shades and then the banana shade that she does and then three like contoury shades and I am so <laughs> excited to try this. I've been on the Cult Beauty wait list for months and then the last time it came back in stock I was actually at my laptop. I was like yes, this is happening. So it's definitely worth being put on the wait list because I think you get emailed about four hours prior to it going properly live on the site. So I clicked on the link, got it. So chuffed, haven't even used it, haven't even swatched it. I can't even bring myself to swatch it because it's just so beautiful. But I'm gonna give this a go tomorrow and I'm sure I will report back sometime next week with that one. I am very excited indeed. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little trawl through my boots bag. Like I said, some old bits, some new bits, some exciting bits, some not so exciting bits, but that's what boots is all about. You know, you can't go there and not pick up cotton wool. Just one of those things. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep your eyes out because on Wednesday there might be a weekly vlog. I know. I know. I know. Very exciting times. But I hope you have a good rest of your Sunday and I will see you then. Bye.